Joining us now, economist David Bonson, and he's the founder of the, the Bonson Group, and he's the author of the book, There's No Free Lunch. Gentlemen, great to see you. The Federal Reserve, you know, it's a matter of oversight. If the White House is going to do all of its attacks on big business, David, th this big story, the Federal Reserve says it will do an internal probe of why they missed Silicon Valley Bank collapse. You know, it could involve San Francisco Fed Chair Mary Daly. She's pretty woke. You know, we're seeing the unrealized losses at that bank and banks nationwide, more than $620 billion. Are they on the stick here? Well, look, I think that the Fed's lack of oversight here is quite obvious, but I also think they did something far worse than fail as supervisors, and that is that they failed as the setter of monetary policy. They left rates way too low for way too long, and then they've been way too aggressive in how they've hiked up. When they break something, they have to fix it, and that's the problem is that we're constantly asking the Fed to be in charge of our economy, and it has to stop. The reality is that Moody's is behind just like the regulators are. We're going to now look at the credit rating. We're going to now look at what we did wrong at the Fed. They're supposed to be in front of this stuff, not backward looking. I think ultimately that the bonds being underwater to their maturity value is not a problem if you can hold them to maturity. It's a problem when your liquidity is messed up because you have bad deposit base like Silicon Valley Bank did. Yeah, rotten deposit base. You know, so this is an oversight issue, an oversight issue. We do have an administration that's not focused on growth or jobs or inflation, but on whether or not you're s s sufficiently woke. Yes. Yeah, so g given what Grover is saying, David, I mean, they're throwing all this helicopter money, 20 trillion thrown into the U.S. economy since 2010. The White House has a banking crisis on its hand. The DOJ, SEC, joining the Federal Reserve, probing the collapse of SVB. Insider sales by several bank executives before the failure. And SVB's board, it's packed with Democrat cronies, only one at the upper echelon of investment banking. And now we're going to do a bank stock of that bank? Now taxpayers could be on the hook for that? Well, in fairness, though, we're not backstopping the bank. I mean, we really aren't. We are blowing up the equity. It's worth zero. And the unsecured bondholders are getting zero. But they are backstopping uninsured depositors. Well, that's where the fees could come in, that's right? that's a problem that's... going forward because but... now why wouldn't anyone believe that there's going to be the same backstop for them? Right. And the reality is they have to specify, do we want to have FDIC limits or not? If we're not going to, let's figure out how we're going to pay for that. But if we are going to, you can't can't keep going back and forth. But that's but a they're, backstop. They're, they're, fairness, but the they're back, doing but the, that to avoid yeah, the contagion. I understand. But, you know, the taxpayer will have to pay with higher bank fees for that backstop, that's Grover, right. in, in what David is saying. I mean, the yeah. Biden White House, yeah. just without even the approval of Congress, just effectively deemed taxpayers to be on the hook for insuring all bank yeah. deposits like they're doing at SVB. Yeah. No constitutional approval by Congress. Yeah. So that's another standard that's got to drop. That means more bank fees that we'll have to pay for. David, it's great to see you, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us tonight.